One of the earliest and best preserved churches in the Mediterranean was built at the beginning of the 4th century here in Aquileia in northeastern Italy. La colonia di Aquileia fu fondata nel 181 a.C. in un territorio già occupato da precedenti insediamenti protostorici. Importante città militare di frontiera e vivace centro commerciale fin dall'età repubblicana, la sua importanza strategica si accrebbe ulteriormente nella tarda età romana, quando la città, quale sede del governatore della Venezia ed Istria, assurse al rango di capitale provinciale e divenne un baluardo dell'Italia verso Oriente. In ragione di questa sua posizione eh, la città fu più, più volte assediata nel corso delle numerose incursioni delle popolazioni barbariche, la più sanguinosa delle quali fu quella degli Uni guidati da Attila del 452 d.C. Della città antica, ehm, una delle più ricche dell'impero romano e eh, importante porto del Mediterraneo, si conservano ancora numerose testimonianze monumentali. Fra queste il porto, e il foro, e i mercati tardo antichi, le terme, oltre alle necropoli e a numerosi quartieri di abitazione. Non lontano dal porto, all'inizio del IV secolo d.C., fu costruito il complesso cristiano con i suoi straordinari mosaici pavimentali, che costituisce probabilmente una delle più antiche chiese del Mediterraneo. The huge church can be dated from two dedicatory inscriptions in the mosaic floor. They record that it was built in the time of Theodore, who was bishop of the city in AD 308 to 319, and whose name also appears in a list of clergy attending a church council at R in 314. The size of this building and its rich mosaics suggest that there was already a large Christian community here in Aquileia at this time. It consists of two parallel halls with an east-west orientation and other rooms including a baptistery. Each hall was divided into three aisles. Barriers, probably made of wood, separated the eastern space from the rest of the hall and defined the area reserved for the clergy. Frescoes with marble limitations, architectural scenes and gardens decorated interior walls. Two large mosaics, remarkably well preserved, decorated the floors with scenes of animals, personification of the seasons, marine themes and symbols linked to Christian salvation, such as the story of Jonah and the Good Shepherd. There are also images of women and a man named in inscription as Januarius, probably portraits of wealthy members of the local community who gave donations for the construction of the building. Numerous donor inscriptions are also recorded in the mosaic floor of the church of Monastero, built around the middle of the 5th century in the northern suburb of the city. The church, with a single nave, had an atrium with a funerary function. The high number of donor names of Eastern origin, particularly those frequent among Jews, such as Joseph or Theosebes, and a dedicatory inscription, Domino Sabaoth, meaning the Lord of Hosts, has led some scholars to believe that the building was originally a synagogue. Other scholars hypothesize the presence in Aquileia of a large eastern Mediterranean community, perhaps of merchants, who were still very economically active in the 5th century.